Hey everyone, I'm Michael here at Musea, and today we're going to talk about self-assembling mats. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go through is just all the supplies you're going to need. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a great pair of scissors, obviously. Uh, the thing you're going to use the most after that is going to be the linen hinging tape. We get it, uh, this Lineco uh, linen hinging tape uh, in rolls. Uh, it's an inch and a quarter wide. Uh, we also use a Scotch ATG transfer tape. Uh, it'll have to come with an applicator. And then we use uh, this pH neutral PVA book binding glue. It's an archival glue. And we use that to permanently bond the mat boards together. And the last thing you're going to need is a high polymer eraser. This is great for getting rid of if you accidentally get some dirt on your hands and touch a mat or uh, you need to smooth out a spot just barely then the high polymer eraser is great for uh, fixing those areas. So all the supplies we have here, we have links to those on our website, so you can easily get those on your own. And I'm just going to talk to you real quick about the things that we're going to do with matting, the processes. So the first one, uh, we're going to show you how we mat uh, here at the lab. And then we're also going to show you a hinging method, which will be something that you could do for more uh, temporary uh, matting needs and I can walk you through uh, why you would need to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we mat photographs here at Musea. So any matted photograph you get from us, uh, this is how you'll receive it. Uh, that way you can duplicate it yourself at home. So you'll have your front mat, and then you have your back mat, you have your print with linen tape, your uh, Scotch ATG gold tape, and then your PVA book binding glue. So the first thing you do is you uh, Flip the front mat over, you take your print, flip it over, and make sure that there's no gaps or anything like this. Um, you will make sure that it covers the hole evenly. Then you will cut um, a couple pieces of tape. This is for uh, I'm doing a 5x7 print and an 8x10 mat. Uh, you'll separate the front of the tape from the backing. Uh, that is trash. And then you'll just put these in the top left and right corners of your print to secure them. Uh, if you're doing a bigger print, you would do a piece of tape every four inches all along the top. Uh, but for the smaller prints, 5x7s, 8x10s, you generally just need two pieces of tape. Um, so that will secure it. And then this allows the print to expand and contract with hot weather, cold weather, versus putting tape all the way around it because uh, then that would create warping so that's all you need. Uh, the great thing about linen tape is it's very easy to remove if you need to remove it for any reason that's why it's more archival so you can get access to it and just remove it. Um, if somewhere down the road your family member needs to switch it out and put a new mat on it then they can do that and the print will still be great. So once you do your linen tape take your scotch ATG gold tape in the applicator and you just do one line around all four sides like so you could stop here if you wanted to um, we used to do it this way but we found that over time sometimes the front and back mat would separate a little bit uh, because of heat and humidity changes over time and so you get these kind of gaps between the two mat boards so we started adding uh, the PVA bookbinding glue, uh, which is an archival glue, and this uh, will permanently secure it so we don't have that problem of it gapping a year or two down the road. So you just do one little bead like that around, take your back mat, and how I do it is I just usually set, uh, set it up vertically to get it flush, line it up. Obviously, um, you want to make sure you have clean hands. You could use uh, white gloves if you want to. Uh, but as long as you have clean hands, you're totally fine. Uh, and then just lightly press on all the sides. And that's it. You have a matted print. So the second method I'm going to show you is more of a temporary way to do it. Uh, especially if you want to reuse the mats over and over again. This is a great way to do that. Um, especially if you're doing reveals, uh, that we get multiple uses out of a single mat versus uh, just doing it once and then you have to either pitch it or sell it or give it away. 
Um, so this is just be called the hinging method and you're just hinging it at the top. So all you need is your back mat, your front mat, your linen hinging tape, scissors, and the prints. So you start out by turning your front mat over again, taking your print, also flipping it over. And you'll secure this the same way um, that we did earlier with the corners. So you do one in the top left and one in the top right. And just like when you're hinging the print, you're just going to be hinging the mat boards together. And you just line them up um, where it's really almost touching. You want a tiny bit of air in between them. Um, but, you know, sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch. And then you'll cut one long piece that's almost the entire width of the mat. Um, you want it a little bit shorter because you obviously don't want it to overhang. And this will allow you uh, to get access to the print uh, easily. Uh, you can do this for framing as well uh, because the pressure of the you know finishing the frame is going to hold everything together anyway. So you don't really need to glue it all together. Um, so the main trick with this one is just getting the mat boards to line up uh, perfectly. So the great thing about the line tape again is just how uh, non-sticky it is. So once you get it lined up, you just press down, make sure everything is stuck, and then you just fold it back like so. I wouldn't necessarily hand this to a client, you have to be careful because it will just come open and the print will come open and just kind of hang like that. So uh, I wouldn't hand this to somebody that doesn't know how to handle it because you could damage the print. Uh, but if you're in a controlled situation where uh, it's temporary or you're just going to put this in a frame, that's all you need to secure it. Uh, and that's uh, the great, simple, easy hinging method. Alright everyone, hopefully that was helpful and get you started on your journey for matting. Uh, just a reminder, on our website we do have available pre-cut front and back mats in various uh, widths. Uh, we have 4-ply and 8-ply. We even have 2-ply backs on there if you want a thinner back. Uh, we also have all of the supplies on the exact same webpage. The, you can get those there. And also make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have a lot of content uh, moving forward. So thanks again for watching, I'll see you soon.